Now for this test, <clears throat> a viewer asked me what I thought of using CLR as a electrolyte. And my answer was, well gee, I don't know. Let's find out. So, we're going to try it. If this is distilled water, and here goes the first tablespoon. Well, I see see some hydroxy production, although not a very large amount, and it looks like it's creating foam. That's two tablespoons per gallon. Now we're going to try, now this will be just a little short, probably three and a half, let's add a little more. That should make four tablespoons per gallon. And I see production. It looks like it's making foam. Looks like it's registering about two amps. <clears throat> Here's another just sort of a tablespoon. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's the equivalent of six tablespoons per gallon. And it looks like what CLR does is it makes foam. Doesn't stay foamed, but it makes foam. Seems like in just a few minutes it's built up about a quarter of an inch of it. And bring this down. Production isn't particularly high either. Now I'm going to add one more tablespoon. Let's see what we get. That makes it as close to a tablespoon as it's going to get. So this makes eight tablespoons per gallon. As you can see, it is producing gas, but it's also producing a lot of foam. Well, I'd say the foam component renders the CLR unsuitable as an electrolyte. <laughs> <laughs>